I'm going to show you just how easy and effective it is to edit a video file or a collection of video files over 10 gigabit ethernet on a QNAP NAS. Today we're going to be utilizing the brand new HS453DX, that's the silent NAS with 10 GB on board, and we're also going to be utilizing the brand new QNAP 10 GBE to Thunderbolt adapter, namely the QNA T310G1T. Now, what I'm going to show you today is just how effective and easy it is to utilize a NAS for editing video files rather than using local storage. I'm also going to show you that if you own a Thunderbolt related system, that you can use the Thunderbolt 10 GB adapter, edit on a 10 GB enabled NAS, and then use the 1 GB ports to share and distribute your finished product. So in order to do this properly, and I'll try and skip forward a little bit, um, first thing we need to do is create some mapped network drives. To create a mapped network drive, you can look at my other videos, or once you've connected the NAS to your environment, you need to make your way into the QFinder Pro software, scan your local environment, and it will find the NAS via 10 GBE. Do watch my video regarding uh, setting up the HS453DX for the very first time and that adapter. At the same time as doing this, I'm using OBS to do the recording, as you can see, so there may be drops in frame rate at times. Once you've set up your network drive over 10 GBE, you need to deposit the files that you intend to use for editing. Now, I've got a hard drive, I've got one SSD, and I've got dual M2 SSD bays. In order to make this fair as possible, I'm only going to use the hard drive. If I use the SSD bays, there is no doubt this project will be done a great deal quicker, but I want to keep this fair and just use hard drives for now. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to dump a few finished WMVs in here. So there's some of these will be videos that you've seen featured on uh, the channel previously. And what I'll do is I'm going to use some of these videos and then deposit them inside that device. So if we use four videos, um, almost all about QNAP ironically, so if we click copy, we make our way into that hard drive that's on the 10 GB NAS. And as you can see, because we're using 10 gigabit ethernet, the read and write speeds aren't the usual transmission. Now we are copying files over this connection from my standard hard drive onto uh, the media in there. That's why you've got the slight bottleneck. Next, we want to utilize some editing software. And again, the reason I'm using Cyberlink PowerDirector is largely because it isn't very resource intensive. And we want to focus more on the NAS than on anything else. Then we're going to open up the program. There's a bunch of stuff there, but we're not going to need any of that. We are then going to open up that network drive on the HS453DX. And again, I am utilizing that adapter. If we want to have a look, that is the adapter there using the QA310. So we are connecting Thunderbolt 3 to a 10 GBE NAS. You then take these three files and put them into the video editor which is what we're going to do here while it uploads them. Again, remember we are editing, look at that ugly mug there. And what we're gonna do is we are now going to edit a brief pointless video over 10 GBE all the time. We're gonna chuck that there, we're then gonna chuck another video picture in picture. And this picture in picture, we're going to chuck this one down at the bottom. Again, we're gonna make, probably make this a few minutes long chuck that one there another video nice and straightforward nice and basic want that to be at the beginning don't we move that there to the start of the piece click OK and again this isn't going to be some high dense file here we're just doing something lovely and quick nice and easy pop that down there and again you can do all the usual effects that you can with any video editor once again remember all the files that we're dealing with are over 10 GBE that noise you can hear in by the background, by the way, isn't the silent NAS. That is the sound of the adapter, which has got an inbuilt fan for when temperatures get a little bit higher, it will then activate that internal cooling fan, thereby cooling down the device and maintaining those read and write speeds. Again, if the, if the frame rate has dropped during the course of this video, I do apologize, um, but it's the only way to record this device utilizing this without a capture card. So we're gonna set this video up to be maybe three minutes long. Let's go for the three minute mark. Do you know what? 256 will be fine. We're then going to separate those. We're gonna dump 
all the stuff we don't need. Right now, the delays we're seeing aren't to do with the 10 GBE, they're more to do with the system. This uh, device should really take a moment to explain. This computer, if we go to system properties, I'm utilizing an i7 based laptop. It's a dual core i7, 6th gen, and 16 gig of memory. Uh, it doesn't have um, a GPU card inside, so that is something worth bearing in mind. So we've got that complete. I'm going to quickly save our project in case something goes wrong. We'll save it to the desktop. We're just going to call it 10G QNAP test. It's going to save the project. I'm going to save it there. Just wrapping up that save file. Max out. Just a little refresh of the graphics there. And now we're going to do our finished product. I'm going to encode this four way video into 1080p. We're just going to chuck this onto the desktop as well, and we'll call this 10G QNAP Product Finish. And we've got it all set. It's going to be a WMV. It's going to weigh in at just 216 megs. And we're going to edit over 10 gigabit Ethernet on a hard drive in a NAS. Now, while it does this, it is worth mentioning, hopefully I'm either going to fast forward this or talk over the whole production, it's worth mentioning that if you used the SSD media inside a 10 GBE NAS, or any NAS indeed, and you've got the right kind of connection, you will see faster speeds. This video isn't so much about the hard drive that we're using to edit on this remote NAS. This is about 10 GBE. Now, the hard drive we're using at the moment is maxing out at the speed that it's on. So if you were editing files locally on a hard drive, this should be identical to the speeds that you would see if you were editing a video file on a local computer. However, if we were using the SSD base, production time would be significantly higher because the 10 GBE connectivity doesn't limit the SSD max speed because SSDs run at 500 megabytes per second, give or take, some of them at 420, some of them at 550, but the majority of hard drives, you'll only get around 100 to 120 megabytes per second, to close to 200 with an enterprise class hard drive. But as you can see right now, we are now encoding this video file remotely. Now, of course, you're going to have to take my word for it, but this is about the speed that this would have edited on on a local hard drive. It definitely, definitely would. And it is that straightforward to be able to edit on a remote um, source such as 10GBE. Now, while this is going on, this file is being saved to my local computer. But if I'd wanted to, I could have set it up to let's put this file on the NAS. So instead of saving to my local directory, just because I wanted to show you the finished product, I could have created the output folder to be on the NAS without utilizing the 10GBE per se. It just would have sent the instructions via 10GBE. Once it's done, that's when things get interesting because the QNAP, we go back into the QNAP OS, we could have used the QNAP system to distribute these files over the internet over anywhere we want, we're able to share and distribute these files as much as we want. So there's the test files that we were using earlier on, and we will be able to use these files if we let the completed file be in this directory. You can then package the files up, add the thumbnails, properties, the description, the metadata, whatever it is that you need, along with all the apps that QNAP offer you, and then utilize the distribution abilities of a NAS over your network and the internet, as well as creating separate user accounts for different users to have access to different folders and therefore they can distribute the right product. It really is that straightforward. And there you have it. That is just as straightforward as it is to edit over 10 GBE thanks to the Thunderbolt 10G adapter. And of course, 10 gigabit Ethernet NAS from QNAP. I'll be doing comparison tests with this device against some of the Sonnet and the Kitio devices, as well as a complete overview of some of the 10G solutions in our best of the year in a little while. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.